It's Conduit News Radio with Paul Harrell. Telephone number 870-275-9799. That's 870-275-9799. In the first hour, I kind of explained a little bit about my motivations for interviewing libertarian uh, candidates. Uh, This one in particular, uh, Lee Evans. He's a libertarian running for Senate District 5. He joins us on the phone. Lee, uh, good morning to you, sir. How are you? I'm doing great, Paul. Hanging out on a Monday. I'm a little wet from being out jogging this morning. The weather kind of stinks, but yeah, it's uh, hey, <laughs> it's I know. all good. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I hope it. I hope it cools. It cools down even more. Uh, muzzle loading uh, season is uh, this weekend, so uh, I'm hoping. Oh that, yeah. uh, Hoping that the deer start moving. Um, yeah, Lee. The reason I want to have you on number one is because a couple of weeks ago or a month or so ago. Uh, you know, your opponent, Republican opponent in the upcoming is Bob Ballinger, who beat Brian King uh, in a close race. Um, yeah. I wanted to have you on because I made the mistake. I was pl- I was playing the audio of Bob Ballinger saying nobody, no legislator in Little Rock is is benefiting from being down there. And, of course, he got kind of laughed, laughed at pretty hard. And I said, I said, hey, you know, he's the senator elect. And um, that uh, was wrong. And, I, you know, I corrected it a couple times. But I thought, you know. Uh, as much as it drives the, the Marble Palace crazy that, you know, you, we give libertarians a voice on the program, and we, we give anybody a voice, really, if they want to have an honest conversation and dialogue. Uh, I, I wanted to have you on, Lee, and, and I just want to start off, why, why are you running for, for Senate District 5? It's where I live. Um, I've Honestly, I've lived in this part of the state for about two years now. I'm kind of a newcomer to this area, but I've lived in Arkansas all my life. Um, and I see the everyday struggle of Arkansans. It's, it's definitely not easy. And I, I, you know, I'm really thankful for your reporting up there and just all the, all the conduits, every single one of them. Um, I know it's one big organization and, uh, I, I, I listen to your program as much as I can and I, I read it all and I soak it all up and it's been, been a big influence on me, to be honest. I'm not a uh, kiss and butt or anything. Uh, and it's, um, you know, once I, once I got into this and saw how corrupt things were for my district and how far Ballinger is from representing anybody, really, in, in District 5, much less Arkansas, I just became filled with more and more fire. And, uh, you know, I, I have a, a bit of a political activist background. You know, I, I started out probably as more of a progressive when I was really young. Uh, I've seen that movement from the inside, and and uh, what's wrong with it from the inside, frankly. Yeah, what do you, um, what do you think and, is wrong with progressivism? Big government in general, um, and you know, I, I I'll give them some credit in that they're honest about what they're for. And my big problem with the Republican Party in Arkansas is they claim to be for small government, yet we still get Obamacare, yet we still get all these big government programs, not just big government. But, but corruption that the likes of which I, I've just never seen before. And I've paid attention to politics my whole life, and there's always corruption, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, big government is the uh, snake that eats itself. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And, yeah, we need some government. You know, I, I've been working on ballot access for the Libertarian Party for the last few years in, in a few different states as well as Arkansas, and I, I help get the term limits uh, initiative on the ballot here as well. And uh, so I, I've talked to a lot of people throughout the country and Arkansans, and um, look, most people are, are fairly moderate, um, and I, I think really what libertarians need to offer is a reasonable balance between those two sides of the coin without, um, without giving up on who we truly are, which is trying to get government out of your life and giving the individual a true chance to shine. Mm. Yeah, and I think that is a, a definitely a message that should resonate with with uh, young people, and I, I think it is. You know, I think it's a, it's growing more and more in terms of the idea that hey, liberty, voluntary cooperation is way, way, way better uh, than than forced cooperation. Um, so when did you when did you make the turn? What was it in your life where you said, hey, this progressivism is not for me? I think uh, you know, limited governments is better. Uh, it was the gun issue that really, really bothered me. Um, you know, I actually grew up in a kind of a, a Democrat home. I wouldn't say Democrat home. Let me rephrase that. You know, my, 
my grandparents come from a from an age in Arkansas when everybody was a Democrat. Yeah. You know, you, and I'm sure you know this. That this was. Arkansas was all Democrat back then. You know, you talk about uh, Winthrop Rockefeller. Uh, my grandfather loved him. And last vote he voted was Obama before he died. And isn't, so I – and isn't, uh, it weird that Rock, isn't it weird that Rockefeller was a Republican and he comes here? We're all Democrats here in the state uh, back in the day, and like 80 percent Democrat. And yet somehow uh-huh. Winthrop Rockefeller comes in and he's like uh, – you know, he's a Republican, but everybody votes for him. <laughs> I thought that was – I think that's such an anomaly in history. Well, it's it's really it is it is really interesting, and you know, uh, yeah. To get back to what I was saying, you know, um, I I grew up in a household that I didn't really grow up around guns. Uh, my my uncle was actually shot at a young age and lost his sight. Um, he just passed away a few years ago, and that's just to give you an idea of the attitude on guns <laughs> that I, I grew up with. Not anti, just not really around it. If that if that makes any sense. Yeah. And so you you, you know. The, the way progressives kind of cast themselves is is from the heart. And I, I think that's why you see so many kids on college campuses all around the country. That's what they're kind of clinging to because they're seeing it from a heart level. And they, they need, uh, you know, they need to see the perspective from the other side. And I really, I really think they have. But it was the gun issue, Paul, that really kind of pulled me to the other side. And, you know, I, I really don't believe in there being any kind of restrictions except if you're a violent criminal out there sure we can we can restrict that but other than that we we don't need any kind of gun restrictions arkansas doesn't need that and that's frankly not what arkansans believe in um we're talking with lee evans he's a libertarian candidate for a state senate district five here in the state of arkansas um you mentioned the corruption you in arkansas which is is great right now we still don't know how far this is going to go who who how high up it's going to go um yep you know, you talk about how you think a lot of people might be fairly moderate. And that that's kind of what I want to talk about. Um, it, just in terms of we are at the point now, tell me if you agree or disagree. I think we're at the point sure. now in Arkansas where I can't really talk about the pitfalls of, of big government when it comes to uh, welfare programs or dependency or, you know, who really is the truly needy. Um, uh, we can't really have, I don't think, policy conversations the way we need to about tax policy, uh, about regulatory reform, because I can't at this point. I don't trust any of them to not be making some sort of side deals that if they do, <laughs> if they do, if they do kill a regulation, that they're not somehow getting money on the side for doing it, or there's some there's some su- something hidden that we don't understand. Yep. I mean, that's how bad it is. So in, in, instead of being able to have these these debates about how we govern ourselves right now, I think both Democrats. Republicans, libertarians, conservatives, liberals, whatever you want to call them, we have to demand for honest government. And I think in, in a lot of ways, um, that's what Trump is uh, is kind of exposing here. I think that's why you're yeah. seeing uh, such a shakeup in the status quo is because I think it feels like our government at the national level is becoming a little bit more transparent, a little bit more honest uh, and I, I would love for that to happen here in the state of Arkansas. What are your thoughts on that, Lee? Oh, man. Well, you're so right, because we can't talk about anything else till we deal with the corruption. Like you said, we don't know what they're doing, and there may be more to come. And somehow Ballinger is at the center of all this, and nothing has came out that's 100% definitive evidence of criminal wrongdoing. And... You know, I, I have to emphasize that. But, you know, uh, you guys have done some great reporting on uh, Senate Bill 5 that he sponsored, which also Hutchison sponsored in the House, who is currently under indictment, which got rid of your right to a jury trial uh, pre-dispute when signing a finance contract. So that means if you don't read the little fine print when you sign any kind of finance contract in Arkansas, you don't have any right to a jury trial if something happens related to that contract. And, uh, you know, I, I've, I've had a little pushback from people say, hey, I should be able to sign my jury rights away. Okay, that, that's fine if that's how you feel. But, but in my opinion, the Arkansas Constitution, it protects your right to a jury trial in violence. So all you, the way. You, think, you think maybe that legislation uh, was maybe predatory? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah like it's, I, it's, I think it's, it's there for the nursing home industry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it's praying. Well, you know, I think I know Jerry Cox uh, uh, 
you know, he 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 uh, tried to stop them from being able to insert that into nursing home contracts. I think he successfully got them to take that out, but it still stuck for the financial oh. institutions. Oh well, that's good. I didn't even know that. Yeah, well, yeah. well, God bless him. I'm glad. I'm glad he did that. That and that's a big deal. But you know, that's just the tip of the iceberg of stuff that Ballinger is involved with. And you've done great reporting, and you've questioned him yourself on it. And uh, you know, I I don't even like to have to run this uh, kind of political campaign where I'm. It looks like I'm attacking or smearing somebody. I, I'm not. You know, it, it, this is. These are verifiable source facts not just from you yeah um this is from a lot of different media organizations throughout arkansas well you know it can be uh, it can be a it can be an attack and not a smear i would separate those two i mean i think fair i think you have to uh you know i mean everything's going to be, be perceived based on you know who, who who what your perspective is if you're the recipient if you're if you're not um but yeah the fact is i mean talk talk a little bit about this because we still really don't know what's going to happen uh, with uh, what we're going to find out with the Ecclesia College thing. You had all these legislators giving all of this money to Ecclesia College. You got three people behind bars as a result of that. And um, we we still don't know exactly what all that taxpayer money, like we haven't done an audit. We, we, we don't really know yeah. what's going to happen and, and that sort of thing. And Why haven't we done an audit yet? <laughs> well, it's a, yeah, it's a great question. I, I think there may be some movement to try to get some information at this point but you know it, it just doesn't it just doesn't seem right and the fact that you know all this was done this is what's so sad to me is that ecclesia is a greek word for church you know this is this is a this is a christian uh institution that we're yeah. having text messages about uh whether or not uh, they need to use the you know, medical marijuana fund, which they thought would have been evil, but they're going to use evil for good, you know, and, and direct all that tax money to, 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 you know, college. And I, I know as a libertarian, you know, the, you know, we can, we can talk about marijuana, but you know what I mean? It was just some really, it was like, uh, it was like the college itself was no different than the schemes that we read about in government, you know? Oh, it's not. And they're using, uh, the color of religion the the politicians and I, I guess the college to to dupe people and that that's so wrong on so many levels um you know arkansas is, is a christian state and it just it really really bothers me that they're using that to just hustle the hustle this money in from the taxpayers so i mean obviously I, i'm against all kinds of gift funds legislators should not just have access to money like that to do whatever they want with all money needs to be voted on yeah. and debated on every single cent. I agree. And I know you agree with that. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, I loved what Brian King had in there. He, he had this great Medicaid disclosure bill that would have helped big time. Ballinger killed it at the last second. Um, and you've done good reporting on that, too, again. So, I mean, it's. Uh, you know, I could, I could go on and on. The corruption is just crazy. And yeah, we can talk about marijuana. Sure. Um, you probably know how I feel. Uh, I don't want any kind of rules on it. We don't need a medical marijuana commission. And it's just kind of funny that Ballinger's law partner, Travis Story is on the commission and, uh, Ballinger's getting all these donations from, um, uh, and you can look it up. Anybody can look this up. He's getting donations from these dispensaries and they're, they're somehow getting approved. Um, and I want to backtrack a little bit. I don't know if they got approved or not, but he has gotten donations from them. It's just there's so much funny business going on. We've just really got to vote out all incumbents, get some people up there with a good head on their shoulders. You know, I'm committed to routing out this corruption in the Capitol however I can and wherever I can because this is my state. This is where I grew up. This is all my friends and family are all in Arkansas. Mm. And uh, it, it's just it's just become insane the amount of corruption and uh you know it's sad a lot of people still don't know about it this um is ballinger is going around his district and and talking to people um and that's good that's good i mean he, he should be allowed to do that of course but a lot of people just aren't aware of this stuff mm -hmm. yeah they unfortunately don't, not, i don't know how yeah it, it, it's tough i mean it, it's tough when you have uh you know we have a, a mainstream media here lee that i mean you know i mean that they'll do a, they'll do a story you know when when they have to about the corruption mm -hmm. but you know they're not necessarily beating down the doors of the legislature asking them you know hey are, are you a consultant with anybody else you know are you are you being paid extra is they're not really 
pursuing the investigative angle of this as they should be and it's it's very ripe for for all of that lee evans i appreciate you coming on and i appreciate you running you know thank you throwing your hat in the ring uh like you said this is for your friends and family because they have to live under the laws that these people are down there making and we all yep. have to live under it and so it's a it's a big deal to to, to put your name forward um and uh, libertarian candidate for senate district five go ahead lee if people want to find out more about you online where, where do they need to go just go on Facebook. I've, I've got a Facebook page on there. Just look up Lee Evans for State Senate District 5. I'm posting all right. stuff all the time. Uh, send me a message anytime. I'd love to talk to any of you. Thanks so much, Paul. I appreciate Alrighty. the exposure. Thank thank you, Lee. I appreciate you coming on on this Monday morning. Folks, we're going to take a break. Thanks, it's Conduit News Radio. We will, we will be back here in just a moment.